In this video, I'm going to give you the top 8 tank mates for Neon Tetras. The 8 tank mates I'm going to be discussing about right now are really hardy and will do really well for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Corydoras, quarries for short, are great bottom dwellers that eat leftover food. These fish grow from 1 to 3 inches depending on the gender and species and will like a water temperature from 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Corridors will do great in a pH of 6.5 to 7.7. .7. The most popular quarries include bronze, albino, leopard, and panda. They require a tank size of 10 to 20 gallons and need, I repeat, need to be kept in a sand or no substrate tank. This is because they have wispy barbels on their mouth, which can be damaged if kept in a gravel substrate. Overall, they are a great fish and I do look forward to keeping them one day. Next on the list are the Autosynclus catfish. Autosynclus are cute little algae eaters that will eat algae really well. Keep three or four of them in a 10 gallon tank and you will have a really good cleanup crew. And because they're really small and hardy, people like to keep them in nano tanks or small aquariums. And it's also always recommended to keep them in groups of at least three or more. This allows them to school and they feel like they're in their natural habitat, just like the Neon Tetra. Although they are really hardy, they sometimes can be sensitive to water parameters. This is why it is recommended to always acclimate them before adding them in. Overall, they are great fish and especially if you are looking for algae eaters that can live in nano tanks. Light bearers will do really well with neons because they are all peaceful and stay a reasonable size. Light bearers also breed so fast your tank will be filled up in no time. When they give birth, neon tetras will have a really small chance of eating at the fry because they're so small. Guppies grow to around 2 inches and mollies and platies get to around 3 inches. Make sure you have a big enough tank for neons to school and for guppies to swim around and breed. Telling apart their gender is really easy as males have a gonopodium next to their anal fin. Females are usually also larger than the males. So generally speaking, neon tetras will do really well with lie bearers. What I mean by other small tetras are tetras that are small, peaceful, and community fish. Some examples of this include amber tetras and rummy nose tetras. Just take the rummy nose tetras for example. They're peaceful, they school, and stay small. In my experience, single tetras also do well with them. You sometimes just have to do a little experimenting yourself. Celestial pearl danios will add a lot of color to your tank. They're one of the most beautiful fish in the aquarium hobby. Make sure you have plenty of plants for them to hide and breed and it also makes them feel safe. They also prefer to be kept in schools of at least 4 or more. They prefer a pH of 6.5 to 7.5 and will like a water temperature from 73 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Chili rasboras are a fish you cannot leave out in the best tank mates for neon tetras. These fish are super colorful and, all, and are always darting around. Chili rasboras do best in a school of at least 6 and a 5 gallon tank will be their minimum tank size, but a 10 gallon to 20 gallon should be best. These fish do really well in a wide range of water parameters, a pH from 4.0 to 7.0 and a temperature from 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Harlequin rasboras will do good with any fish as long as the other fish aren't predatory. They can go with just about any other fish and neon tetras are one of them. These fish are super hardy and will do really well for you. Harlequin rasboras need to be kept in a tank size of at least 10 gallons because they like to school in groups of at least 6 or more. Males possess a slightly larger body patch than females while females are fuller in the body outline. Saber Danios are one of my favorite fish simply because they are so playful and energetic. These fish are generally peaceful and will do really well with your neons. 
They are also beginner friendly and do not even require a heater. When keeping these guys, make sure you keep them in a water temperature from 65 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, a pH level of 6.5 to 7.2, and a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Before I end this video, I just want to give a bonus fish, which is the German Blue Ram. German Blue Rams are really colorful fish and are really fun to watch. You may think that cichlids are aggressive, but this definitely isn't the case with German Blue Rams. They are generally peaceful and can go with other peaceful small fish. However, the only time they get aggressive is probably when they're breeding. You could keep a pair of them in a 10 gallon with plenty of plants so that they can hide and feel like they're in nature. Which of these 8 or 9 is your favorite fish? Please let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for more weekly content just like these. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.